Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorials we'll look on another options to create round planets inside the VU. And currently we work with VU 11. To create new planets, we need to go File, Options, click in the Unit and Coordinates tab, enable Spherical Sense, and enable Planetary Terrain. As well, I want to change size, maybe to 10 kilometers. So it's kind of will be small asteroids and it's easy to see all the shape shape, um, change of the shapes. Next, I'm going to select the camera, move it away so we can kind of observe our planet right here. And you can notice it's created this atmosphere around, still be a little bit too high in a planet. The planet shape necessarily is round and it's maybe work okay in one a big size, but for these ones, I want to create more interesting shape. So let's actually click and preview for this one. I'm just going to select and we'll click render. Okay, so right here we have our planet, sun going. Let's change first shape. For this one, I'm actually going to use terrains and we'll just use a dune stone and rubble. So let's click OK. I will replace terrain and let's add the layer of the water. Okay, we go preview again. You can see we have a very interesting shape at this point. Okay, we can enable sea level and we can kind of increase so it will take over. Sometimes it may look very nice, sometimes it don't. Currently it's look kind of not as what I wanted, so I'm going to disable for this one. But now I need to work with atmosphere to make it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to atmosphere editor and I'm going to decrease my atmosphere. Okay, let me about 800, so we'll see. Right here, we'll take our decay down, also haze, and maybe fog. Okay, if we preview, you can see we have a nice atmosphere covering, but it's still be a little bit too small for this. So when you increase, I'll go up to one. Cover right here, let's increase haze as well. Just overall, we increased a little bit values to see when it's become look kind of more what I'm going for. And I think right here, this is give it a very interesting effect. Okay, so we'll have a two kilometers. You can pop up here, it's a little bit up. Okay, let's take our atmosphere to darker effect. Okay. We also um, can pop up a little bit glowing if you need it to the atmosphere. Let's click OK. So right here we have this a nice layer of atmosphere. You know what, maybe reduce just to 1.5. Okay, next also what I'm going to do is add effects, enable stars. And as a stars, we'll go to Nolan's flare brightness and number. Let's preview again. Okay, so right here you can see we add the stars. We can add additional um, behind scenery effects to apply it, but this is give you idea how you can create planetary effects, small planets. Of course, if you want to create an earth size, we need to go inside and change diameter and you can always go to options and right here, for example, set 13, we can 25, 250. Of course, in this case, when we modify this, we need it modify our camera, modify atmosphere settings, and maybe some other options. But overall, this way you can create very fun planets, populate them, and just create some nice space scenery. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember this us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.